This is the story of the legendary game that Palo Alto basketball will forever embrace and remember. Pali versus Los Gatos. The Pali boys won 66-63 to on an amazing buzzer beater by Spencer Rojan. One player on this team was Brian Jefferson. The key center of the team upholds his position strongly and leads by example. We expected to win. We knew it was going to be a hard game, a hard fought game. When uh, Dylan Belquest missed, missed that free throw right before Spencer hit the buzzer beat, I knew I was like, uh, we're going to win. He, this is all set up for us to win. So it happened. Uh, it was close going back and forth. He was just trying to really just take over, but it was hard. They, they, they were playing tough. They had a lead for a minute. And then uh, the final, final play, we called timeout before uh, he shot his last free throw. He missed. And then we were able to run our play where uh, Miles comes down, comes off a screen off of the and he drives or kicks it to Spencer. He hit Spencer and he hit the big winner. And it just happened perfectly. So that was Spencer Rojan, the sharpshooter of the Pally team, had the game of his life hitting the game winning buzzer beater. Well, we watched a lot of film on Los Gatos. Obviously, we played him twice in league, so we knew uh, the personnel. We thought make sure that we locked down Dylan Belquist, I think that's how you say his name. Um, but overall, we wanted to make sure our defense was uh, solid throughout the game and uh, just execute the offense and we uh, should be able to win. Well, we didn't, I mean, we always go into games not expecting to win, but hope, I guess not hoping to win, but I guess, ex I, know, I guess expecting to win because um, we're like very confident in ourselves and we know we, are, we have a great team, so we know that we can uh, beat any opponent that, uh, that we face. So I guess going into the game, we had beaten them once out of two times. We were a one-on-one -on -one against them, so it's a pretty like, even match. But uh, we're definitely confident going into the game. Well, um, we were up. No, we were down at half, I think, by like three points. And then the third quarter, we had a big third quarter. Um, it, it brought us ahead. And in the fourth, it came back. It was a tie game throughout most of the game. So it was a really close game. Um, but I was pretty confident we were going to win throughout the game. Okay. And you're really thinking about the shot at all. I was hoping we'd win the game. Um, when we fouled him and he got the free throws, my heart kind of dropped. I thought he was make both free throws and we were going to lose. But he only made one. Um, and then we came down, I got the ball and made the shot. It was just crazy. It was, like the, it was the most uh, surreal experience I've ever had. And so in the last couple of minutes, um, it was a very close game, very exciting game. And when I made the shot, it was just so surreal. Okay. Paul Jackson III, a key contributor to the team, helped this team beat Los Gatos with his athleticism and his sharpshooting. Um, it was a lot of more pre uh, preparation in for, it was Los Gatos and it was an opponent that we had faced twice in that uh, previous season. So we got to experience, so we got to watch a lot of our film and kind of just go back and correct kind of the mistakes that we made before. And then come game time, like it was just kind of time to execute. We knew who they were, they knew who we were. So it was just going to, are we going to execute our game plan and hope that it came out and it did. So okay, cool. I don't think that was a game that season we didn't think we were going to win. Okay. We knew we were a very good team. We knew we had talent. We were just going to showcase it. Okay, tell me what uh, The last few minutes of that game, it was very shaky. We kind of had a lead and it kind of dwindled. And, you know, you just never want to lead dwindles. And you can never get too comfortable in a basketball game. And, like I said, like it, it happened. Like, you know, we had lost the lead in those, those last, like, three seconds or whatever. And we just got lucky enough to – Spencer was able to grab an amazing rebound. Miles was able to get the ball down the court. We were able to move and transition to get a uh, – not even on a wide open three. It was a very contested three just by a great shooter, Spencer. So, speaking of – this team was a special team. They worked together and had a lot of talent. Unfortunately, they lost to Logan in the regional finals. But this game will always be remembered because it was beating Pally's rivals on a game winner buzzer beater.